Hello and welcome back, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Rim World. So it's been a few days, I've been playing some Ryukyu, my world, my world conquest thing in E4, and it's, it's been distracting me quite a bit. Anyway, so I did a couple things before I started uh, the session here today. Number one is I modified the roof area, because there's some good comments, there's a really great post on the subreddit about all kinds of different things that we're going to try to implement in this, this episode, I hope. Uh, so yeah, I cleared the, the roof area a bit. And then we needed a little bit more light. Some of this stuff was not getting enough light. And uh, I also removed some of the allowed area for animal area. So they're no longer allowed to go into the stockpile where the real food is. Created a new stockpile that's specifically for kibble. Disallowed kibble from this stockpile. Created a kibble work order in manager. So we're going to get some, some kibble made for them, I'm hoping. Beyond that, uh, we need to start working on things like stools, apparently. Adjacent or a stool directly in front of a work butcher table. It makes sense. It does make sense. Uh, I don't know, it just never really occurred to me that that might be a thing you should do. So yeah, let's see if we can find some furniture. Uh, how about a dinner chair? How's that sound? No, let's give him a stool. A simple wooden platform on which to sit. You make it out of silver, wood, or limestone blocks. Uh, we have 11 whole limestone blocks. Hmm. Limestone stool. Simple platform on which to sit. Apparently very... it's 30% cover effective. Nice. Uh, I don't think we should build it out of limestone. That'd take too much work. Let's just make it out of wood. Put one there. We probably don't want these things to be, uh... Quality build. I mean, anyone can build them. That's fine. What else do we want to do? We're supposed to create a stockpile adjacent to the... fueled the stove. Directly adjacent on critical importance that has one with vegetables and one with... Uh, the other things. So we'll go one here, one here. We will make this a clear all. And this is going to be raw food. Meat. Priority level critical. This one will be the opposite. Clear, raw food, vegetarian, priority critical. And that's supposed to allow this guy to just like go crazy. Let's make sure that our, our task, which uh, apparently, can you not create a simple meal at this location? Yes, you can. Why is it only at this one then? Has the manager been in charge of this lately? Alright, current jobs we've got... Apparently we're only making pemmican. Is there a reason why I decided pemmican made more sense? One nutrition meat, one nutrition vegetarian with 35 work gives 72 pemmican. Okay, versus making simple meals, which... I think the issue I had was that, uh... Ah, uh, yes, we're making pemmican because I don't have any refrigeration yet. Also, apparently if we dig a lot, then that makes bugs mad or something, so we should definitely not be digging much. So, we'll just do a little bit of mining when necessary, but not try to make like a cave people type thing. We got Aversum. Uh, we have a minor break risk right now in Yoshi's Oars. He's rather upset about his uh, his living conditions, sleeping in the barracks. So, anyways, middle of the night, it's 1am. Let's, uh, let's let some time pass until morning. Let's check down our... Everyone's working and sleeping at the same time. Seems fine. I like how the turkey just... <laughs> again, the turkeys just sort of randomly come inside and sleep here. Ooh, cargo pods. Okay, let's go check these out. What do we have? It is some um, psychoid leaves. This is new to me. I don't know what a psychoid leaf does. Raw cut leaves of a psychoid plant. I'm assuming this is used in the manufacturing of some sort of drug. Uh, let's have someone go collect those. Yes, let's make drugs. Drugs are fun. I mean, in the context of RimWorld, of course. Yes, yes, of course. All right, speed three until morning. And we'll go down to like speed probably one or two. I like playing slower. Because otherwise, I feel like the game kind of gets gets away from me. But um, I understand that not a huge amount of stuff actually happens when I play on a slower game speed. But eh, I don't care really. But for for me, it's all about I just want to enjoy myself. What are you? Where are you going, dog? DMC Duga, don't you dare wake anybody up. Okay, Yoshi Zors is apparently going to go and carry pemmican to the table and eat some. He's eating 17 of it. You greedy bastard! We only have 76 total, and you're going to eat 17. I suppose the reason for that is, uh, is what? In theory, the keyboard thing is supposed to, like, select the, uh, the thing beneath it, but I can't see that. Anyway, look at some pemmican over here. I think it's because each piece of pemmican is, like, yeah, 0.05 nutrition. So does he just pick up exactly how much he needs to get to full, or is he just gonna be waste some? I don't really know. Either way, I think we need to, to change the restriction on the pemmican thing to a higher threshold. Right now I have it <laughs> apparently at 50. That's not very much. 
I was assuming pemmican was like simple meals. No, if pemmican's gonna be consumed at like 17 per meal, then let's have like 20 worth. So at least, say 400, I think would be a good, a good place to consider. Yeah, looks like uh, Scumbag is gonna eat 16. This one's just eating some berries. Three berries for the Girthy, Aversum 16 berries. Girthy's on a diet, apparently. Either that or he's... Wait a second, are you actually gonna be full, Girthy, off of just three? There's no way you could get all the way to full, right? Okay, here's my prediction. He's eating berries. We know that berries have a... nutrition value of 0.05, just like pemmican. So if he eats three, he should go from his current health value, or food value, of 0.17 up to... 0.32, right? Why did you waste the time to eat those berries, dude? That is not enough. You should have eaten some more. You are not on a diet any longer. Anyway, we're stripping the roof, and yeah, we can see the light here is... You know, it says brightly lit, so... I don't know, people were saying that I didn't have this stuff exposed enough, but it seems to me like it's growing just fine. It's all brightly lit when I look at it. Whatever, they can still strip the roof. It's fine. Seems fine. Okay, I recall that uh, there was another suggestion. I, I don't have the list open. I really should probably open it up between now and the next episode and have it on the other screen. But uh, there was a recommendation that in the... The... Da, 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 the assignment... Outfits... Select outfit... Uh, everyone is currently set to anything. We should set people to like... An outfit that restricts clothing so that they don't wear ragged clothing. That seems pretty prudent. I'll say new outfit. We will call this don't wear junk. And the hit points on it uh, needs to be above 50%. And then we will say... <clears throat> yes, don't wear junk. You can wear anything you want, but it can't be junk. 50% to 100%. And then we're going to say you are supposed to wear don't wear junk. Can I make that the standard, I wonder? Or do I have to actually manually do this with every character? Or can I just modify the anything? That would be a whole lot easier, wouldn't it? Turns out that yes, yes I can. Okay, in that case we will just switch back to anything and get rid of the other, other one. Because I think everyone's going to default to anything when they show up and I don't want to have to manually change people. We will delete the outfit, don't wear junk. Select outfit. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, well that was easy. So they'll just like strip, basically. If there's no new equipment and their equipment gets below 50% uh, durability, then they'll just they'll just do a strip tease right in the middle of nowhere. The wooden butcher table. I suppose we should probably do the same exact thing here then, right? We'll put the, uh, the stockpiles right there. This is a dumping stockpile for corpses. Let's actually... Uh, no. Copy this and paste here j j delete so we should have corpse stockpile and i i wonder if i can let's delete this one and if i do that and then i clear it can i just have it be a singular entity no damn well I suppose the overall number doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, we're low on food, yeah. Full bars uh, worth of food and energy and storage, 10. Colonists and prisoners getting food, 6. Stays worth of food and storage, 1. That's a bit of a crisis, I would say. Let's uh, expand this thing, just in case everyone wants to eat all at once. We could actually, and I think we will, start to reverse it. Eventually, I'm expecting we're going to have more people. Can they share a dining spot? I'm going to guess no. So we will duplicate it and then go like that. And let's just say to to not do these yet. This bed is awful. It's apparently deconstructed then. This bed is it's got a reinstruct to move command. It's shoddy versus normal. Yeah, get rid of that. Uh yeah, deconstruct it. I want it in that room. It turns it into a barrack instead of a uh, instead of a bedroom. All right, there we go. It's working. They're taking the stuff there. We need to get some wood. 
How long has it been since the manager's done her job? Look at all tasks, forestry. She just did it zero hours ago. We're good on hunting. We apparently need to make some kibble. Scumbag is taming turkeys. Because we know we need. We need more turkeys. We don't need food. No, no. We need turkeys. Are you guys actually cleaning the wall? No, you're removing roofs. Okay, that makes sense. Well, the potato crop's about to come in. The rice, I think, is uh, the second harvest is about to happen. I feel like we should probably get a lot more food. And research, we're trying to get the uh, the medieval tree. But I'm wondering if... Okay, we already have the passive cooler. We just need to... We need to create a refrigerated area so we can start creating some simple meals, I think. We could wall this off and use it it. You use it as a thing, or we could use this as a small refrigerated room after Yoshizor gets his fancy bedroom. But we definitely need to get some wood first. That is one of our turkeys. Uh, I want to modify the animal area. Uh, allowed allowed area for animals is going to include everything that's within the square, like our our little partition. What is that noise? Oh, that would be the cat murdering a squirrel. Good job, good job, Rain Dan. Are you gonna murder the, the other the rat and the hare now? I'm assuming that rats eat your food over time, right? They sneak stuff from you, just kind of like uh, kind of like in Dwarf Fortress. Aversim is wandering. Sly is pulling the cycloid leaves. Apparently, they're all deciding it's time. Let's see how Scumbag does with this uh this tricky. Scumbag, what are your chances? Numbers. Uh, every time you... No, it does actually remember. Sweet. Alright, so we had... At one point I had added it in, and then I think I removed it, because I didn't really care anymore. Uh, tame animal chance. Aversum is actually the best. Scumbag's still pretty good. Wasting all of our food trying to get turkeys. Apparently, boomalopes make good pets, because... Number one... They are not very difficult to tame. They only require a handling skill of four. And number two is that if you train them in the sick skill or whatever it's called, where you can like send them off to attack, then they just go explode on people. So that's kind of funny. We should totally do that. Psychoid leaves. What was that about? What was that? Excuse me? Insulted Sly. Yoshizors, that's quite rude. You know what? I don't appreciate you doing that. You're just making people uncomfortable now. Femmekin down to 37. Uh, what's stopping someone from working on the job of making food? Make Pemmican 4x. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we need more than that. Manager, woman, man. I'm gonna not rely on the manager for this, and we're gonna just say bills, add bill, Make pemmican for the manual task that I'll just add, and then eventually I'll remove it once I feel comfortable about the food situation. So that's the one that I just did. We're gonna say do until you have details. Resume on low stock. Um, I want you to do until you you have like five hundred. Pause on completion? No, just just use the resume on those stock. Okay. Aversum and Taze are getting along, that's nice to see. Okay, what do we got? What are you up to, Sly? Bringing the drugs home. Nice. We won't have any food. We'll have lots of turkeys. <laughs> lots of turkeys, no food, but plenty of drugs. It's gonna be great. Also, apparently these wooden traps are complete trash, and we should be making them out of metal. We do have some metal, yes? Uh, metal. That is silver. I think that I don't actually have very much metal right now. We were harvesting metal from, like, way down here. To make the equipment that I needed to, to do something, but... 
Let's get some metal, make some better traps. I want to replace the wooden wall at some point with a limestone block wall. To do that, we will need to definitely build another production facility. We need to get like a... Uh, uh, that's artistic sculpting, butchered, that thing. Can we not actually make blocks yet? If so, that's it's rather it's rather pathetic. Bum -ba -ba -bum. Smithing. Expensive psychic refining. Yeah, we can't make drugs yet. Use the tailor's bench to craft essential clothing. Medieval food storage. Medieval crafting... Sis... Something. There's no, like, find function, is there? I don't know, though. It just seems kind of crazy to me that you wouldn't be able to mount... Be allowed to make, like, blocks. Right from the beginning of the game. Even in the medieval... Even in the, uh... The tribal start. Medieval ice walls. Brewing, carpet making, devil's strand, complex clothing. Okay. I'm not seeing it. It's not jumping out at me, so either I'm missing the crafting thing somewhere. I mean, I can see little icons, but it's not actually telling me, like, you can make stone blocks. Alright. Oh well. It's a question for the ages. Party spot. Trading spot. Marriage spot. Alright, Eversum's working on the food. We don't have enough wood, apparently, to make the stools. Making four stacks of pemmican. Oh, and right, I want to make sure that on that task, we did say... Uh, just drop it on the floor. Just sit there. Soon with a stool, I hope. Yoshizora's doing some research. Uh, we could really use a little bit more wood. I'm just saying, be an idea. I've had a few suggestions as well that it's it's not a bad idea to plant some trees. Apparently they're pretty easy to plant, and I will be glad that I did it later. So I think we should try that. Let's go like uh Really decent, uh, say, 10 by 10 area. This will be for planting trees. You want to plant um, oak or poplar? I don't know. Is there really any difference between the two? It's just different. I mean, there must be, right? Why else would they include multiple types? Okay, fertility sensitivity 50%. Hmm. A strong hardwood tree, slow growing, but its wood is very strong. Okay, let's not do oak. Let's do either poplar, birch. Or pine. Large conifer. Growing time, 20 days. Let's let's compare the growing time of these things. 20 days versus uh, 30 days versus the poplar at 15.05 days. Yield little useful wood. Let's not do that. The birch. Northern tree, known for its paper-like birch. 20 days. Teak. I don't even know what that means. Very hard... Strong hardwood tree used in ancient times to build sailing ships. It's even slower than oak. In the Cecropia. One of the most common rainforest trees grows very fast but yields little usable wood. Okay, so to me it's either the poplar or the... I think it was the... Was poplar the one that... Uh, no, it's the wrong one. I wanted the pine. 20 days? Sure. Let's grow some pine trees. Growing period, 40 days, 1st of spring through the 11th of fall. And it is currently the 11th of spring. 15 days in each season, takes like 20 days, so we've got all of summer. We can probably get one harvest of trees in, if they plant them. 
Okay, food supplies. Not gonna run out today. That's a good sign. Um, apparently the psychoid leaves need to be refrigerated, otherwise they will spoil. No one seems to be making the kibble. What's everyone doing? Sewing the trees, alright? I mean, that is useful. Oh, apparently that takes wood. Damn. We had no wood, or very little wood, and now they're... Or did they chop a tree down right there? And then just randomly start sewing, and it makes me think that they're using... Planting wood. Oh, it's cute. Look at that little tree. Yeah. I do feel like that's gonna be a good long-term decision. Should expand some more of these things. So food... Raw food. This was manufactured. It was the wood pitch glue, which is to make compact compound bows. That's the one that I probably need. Uh, that was made at a crafting spot, if I remember correctly. We had the the recurved bow. Make another one if you don't mind. At some point. Alright, I'm gonna go do a little bit of research, see if I can figure out how to make blocks, and I'm also going to pull up the suggestions list so that I don't miss anything really, really important. So, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you again in a bit.